Hi, I'm Kevin from the Wix Design Studio. In this tutorial, I'll show you how a design expert uses the Wix editor to create a site based on full screen light boxes and hover effects. I'll also include a subscribe form and a pre order form. This technique is great for any website, but especially a product showcase. So, let's dive in. First, I'll open the Wix editor and start with a blank page. I always start by saving and naming my site, so it will autosave in the future. To create the homepage, I'll change the background to an uploaded image of my product and add my logo. With pin to screen, I can set the position to the top left and adjust the horizontal and vertical offsets. To accompany the logo, I'll add a text button for the tagline of this product and position it under the logo. To create the header text, I'll add a box and a large heading. I'll make it transparent by going to Change Design, Customize Design, Fill Color and Opacity, and Reduce to Zero. I'll type in my text and attach it to the box. Now that the text is attached to the box, I can pin it to the bottom left side of the screen. Since my text is pinned to the screen, if I ever want to add folds, the header text will keep its position as a top overlapping layer. For this site, I want to create three pages, each based on a full screen light box. I'll start with a how it works light box, which I'll need to create first. So I'll go to add page, link, and choose light box. I'll pick this one, change the background color, and delete all the pre-made content. Then I'll pin it to the left side of the screen. I'll change the overlay background to an image and set the scaling and position to original size. To create the how it works text, I'll customize text and shapes to create the look I want. I'll also add a few animations that will play when the page opens. To add those, I'll click on each item, choose animate, and pick the style, direction, duration, and delay. These are just the elements I'm choosing, but you can customize your lightbox any way you want. In preview mode, you can see how the text floats into view. When I duplicate this text, it already has built-in animation, so all I need to do is customize the text. Finally, I'll add a large heading, customize it, and pin it to the screen. I can also customize the X that appears on the top right of the lightbox. So, now that's our first lightbox. I'll rename it How It Works and move on to the next one. I'll add another full screen light box, but for this one, I want to create a product infographic that appears on hover. To do this, I'll go to interactive and attach a hover box on top. On hover mode, I'll delete all the pre-made content except for one text element that I'll customize and duplicate later. To make the background transparent, I'll change the background image to white and reduce the opacity to zero. For the infographic, I'll customize the text and add an arrow that points to each part of the product. By customizing shapes, I can show the different colors this product comes in. I'll select all the shapes to make sure they're aligned. In preview mode, you can see the infographic appears on hover. It looks great already. The last full screen light box will be an about the designer page, made in the exact same way as the first light box. I'll remove all the pre-made content, change the background, and pin the screen on the center right. I'll customize the exit button and add an image overlay behind it. Just like before, I'll add my text and customize it to match the look of the site. I'll also add a few animations. On preview mode, you can see the text float into view, just like the first light box. Now that I've made all three full screen light boxes, I'll need to connect each one to the menu so they open when triggered. So, I'll create three pages and link each one to their accompanying light box. That way, when I add my menu, I'll already have my site pages ready to go. As you can see on preview mode, when each one is clicked, it will lead to its inner lightbox page. This technique really does create such an elegant and advanced looking site. 
For the last part of this tutorial, I'll use a lightbox to create a subscribe form and pre-order form that pop up at a certain time. There are a few different lightbox options, so for the subscribe form, I'll choose a subscribe lightbox that comes with a default semi-transparent black background and reduce the opacity. I'll go ahead and change the background image of the lightbox and resize it. I'll customize the exit button and pin the lightbox to the bottom right of the screen. I'll add a bit of text and customize it. Then I'll attach a subscribe form. When I click on it, I can customize the design and layout. I'll reduce the image opacity just a bit and name this lightbox so I can find it later. In preview mode, you can see it automatically appears when the page loads. I'll want to customize the animation to reveal from the right, but I actually don't want this lightbox to appear as soon as the page loads. I want it to be triggered by a button. So I'll create a text button and link it to the lightbox. Then I'll pin it to the right side of the screen and adjust the offsets. To match the look of the site, I'll add a plus button on top that will also trigger the subscribe form. Next, I'll create the pre-order form lightbox. For this design, I'll make it similar to the about page. So to do that, I'll attach an image to the left side of the lightbox. Since it's attached, I can crop the image and adjust the size and focus. The rest of the box will have some text and a contact form. I'll go ahead and customize the design and layout. To animate this lightbox, I want it to reveal from the left side. To finish off this lightbox, I'll need to link it to a pre-order button. So I'll add a box with some pre-order text, add a button, and link it to the pre-order lightbox. And I'll pin it to the bottom right side of the screen. And that completes the layout of this site. We're almost done. There are a few more things I want to add. The first is an auto counter that shows six amazing features this product has. So I'll add a slideshow, remove the content and keep one slide. I'll change the background color, reduce the opacity to zero and remove the show navigation arrows and slide buttons. I'll attach text to the slide for each feature of the product. Since I want to show six features, I'll duplicate this slide five times and customize the text. Lastly, I'll pin it to the top right hand side of the screen. In preview mode, you can see the auto counter working. I'll add a few animated details that show more features of the product. First, I'll add a small slideshow that switches between showing a social bar and a follow option. I'll attach a social bar and customize its setting. Then add follow text and customize the slide animation settings. I'll pin this to the bottom right side of the screen. In preview mode, you can see how the slideshow automatically switches between the social bar and follow option, creating another dynamic element to the site. Lastly, I'll add a hover box that displays a benefit of the product on hover. I'll create a transparent background to regular mode and apply this to hover. After deleting the pre-made text, I'll attach an image to both the regular and hover mode. By making the image on hover just a little bit larger, it will look reactive. On hover mode, I'll attach text, then pin to screen on the right hand side. And that's it! Here's my final website based on light boxes and hover boxes. The entire site really feels alive and interactive. Using light boxes is a great and intuitive way to create a dynamic site. I encourage you to check out the editor and play around with these techniques on your own site. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun and we'll see you in the next one.